Hey folks, uh, Kathy Williams DeVries here, uh, bringing you um, a uh, list B piece for Trinity College London exams um, for grade 3 recorder um, in this case. It's a treble recorder. So over the next sort of few days and weeks as I'm learning um, the treble recorder myself, I will be posting videos to help you guys who are doing exams. So this is a grade 3 group B piece. Um, it's the second movement Allegro from the first of the Telemann Fantasias. And it's quite um, a nice uh, little piece. Um, being in C it's, it's not too hard. Um, and the accidentals um, are very homogenous uh, with the rest of the piece. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you from the beginning. Um, in bar four there's a trill. Um, but otherwise it's fairly free of ornaments. So, um, and there's a couple of repeats um, as well. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to actually take you through how I would prepare such a piece. So what I would do is I'd get my trusty metronome and I'll just take it down to about 112. So this is how I would practice it. quite happy with that. So um, it's not it's not all that difficult. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice it a few times at this speed. Get really comfortable with it and then move on to the next part. So So that's our first accidental, the F sharp. So that's um, pretty much the only um, accidental in the piece. Now in the second line from bar 8 I would emphasize the first note I don't know, bar 11 sounded a bit weird. So that as we're getting to know it first half of it. Lit. And uh, then um, we've sort of got the same thing happening only we're up a fourth this time. Um, after the repeat. Oops. Yeah, I was right the first time. I would use the trill fingering. See, be because when you're playing it fast, you will need to use it. So, Again, I'd use that trick finger, the trill fingering. Let's play it 
all the way through at that speed. We'll play the repeats. Um, and okay, so then we repeat that. So as you see, it's getting stronger all the time. It's just uh, bar 17 and 18, I'm not convinced about. And so I'm more comfortable with that. Now let's bump up the metronome to 116 per quaver. And I'll just take that bit out at 17 and 18. Because I'm still learning the, the uh, recorder myself and I thought that me documenting my struggles uh, with learning the treble recorder uh, will help inspire you guys. So let's try again from the beginning. So I'm still not convinced about 17. faster we'll sort out the breathing still not convinced about 17 so this is how I would practice it and then you gradually add in the bars I'm trying to get it under the, the um, fingers as much as possible so I don't have to think too much when I'm actually playing it. So I'm getting more 
confident. Let me play it all the way through at this speed. I went to repeat it. Sorry, um, I quite haven't quite got it at this speed yet. Still not convinced about seventeen. Still not convinced. Let me just practice those four bars. Okay. Let me take the second section again. Okay, so we're getting better. Let's take it up to 120 and we'll just do that sort of four bar bit um, after the repeat sign. So we're getting more confident. I'm just going to go from bars 15 through to 18. with the A to the G I think that's the, my problem and this is the thing about practice is you learn where the hard bits are so that you know where to practice and I'm not quite getting my finger off that hole quick enough that's the problem Maybe a little bit more air might be required as well. Okay. 
So now if we put it together. So that's getting better all the time. Let me see if I can play the whole thing through. So that's getting better all the time. Um, we're already up to our quaver equals 120. Let's uh, move the metronome up to 124 and uh, play those little that play that section from um, 15 to 18. So what I'm going to do is, um, you've had an, had enough of a, let me take it up to 150 and I'll show you how it's sort of supposed to sound. I haven't quite got it at that speed, but it gives you an idea of um, how to play it. Very dance-like, isn't it? So anyway, that gives you uh, sort of kind of an idea of um, how this is meant to go. Um, I wouldn't personally take it any faster than I've been doing it for um, a while to really get it under the fingers. But you can see how much one can improve in just a short amount of time. So I will be bringing you further pieces from the Trinity College grades. Um, I'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye for now. Thank you.